Is it true you couldn't... Can you still not kick your own ass? No, I cannot kick my own ass. <laughs> I am the last... I am the boss in uh, the first Full Metal Alchemist game. Roy Mustang is, you know, really Woo! excited. Went out and bought the game. Played it for like eight hours in my room. Didn't shower, didn't leave. Ordered <laughs> pizza. Played the game, got to the end, and... Died very promptly. <laughs> And Roy Mustang's this little character jumps around going, It's no use, it's no use, it's no use. And I was like, Shut up! <laughs> God, you're so annoying! <laughs> Go back, It's no use, it's no use. God! Can't kick my own ass! <laughs> my, room, my roommate comes around and goes, well, That's a problem. I'm like, Get out! <laughs> all day I tried. Not all day, I exaggerated. It was like 10 minutes. I tried really, really hard, and I just, I couldn't do it. I didn't have all the, the proper power-ups and other things, and, you know, you beat the game whether you win or lose. So, like, I died, and the credits started the roll, and I was like, No! My right, I'm not going to do it! had to, like, reload, 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 and I got so pissed, I just threw it in the closet. <laughs> I think it's still there. So, no, I have not beat myself. I wanted to hear myself die. No, nope, never heard it. How many people have beaten me? Really? Thank you. you have hard, to, right? You have to kill Armstrong first, right? Yeah. You have to kill Armstrong first. I know we should have like a supportive group meeting. <laughs> I can't get Travis in the house. My favorite Pokemon. Lesbian! Flareon? Uh, Pikachu? Flareon? I think I know like Charizard. one Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know of any other Pokemon besides Pikachu. Mudkip. Mudkip. No! No Mudkip! No Mudkip! Sure. Yes. Hala hala la la shalaba. Don't make me beat you again. Yes. Dynasty Warriors. I did the voices of a bunch of characters that I can't name. Really? I didn't know you were. Because I never pronounced them. And on paper, I would really mess it up. No, I don't know, I don't know the names of them. Um, like, Joe... Bad... Tang, Tang, Tong, something like that. I'm, just, I'm really bad at pronouncing them, I don't know. But I never had to say my own name, so I have an excuse. Joe Tai, maybe that's it. Yeah. Yes, that's the one. Could be wrong. <laughs> My favorite what? Three sixty. I love PS3 because it has a Blu-ray player, but Xbox Three Sixty for sure. No. But thank you for asking. Yes. Um. Let's see. I've been acting professionally for nine years, so I've been doing voiceover for five? Five years? Newbie. <laughs> wow. Yes. How hard is it? Oh, what are the requirements? Um, they like you to have an extensive acting background. They like you to uh, have a resume somewhat already. Live in the area is the number one thing. If you want to do it, you got to be in Los Angeles, Texas, Dallas, or Houston, New York, or Canada. Um, you know, they're not going to hire you if you're from out of town. Probably have to go through an audition more than once. Um, and they just like to see that you've got some experience, you know, theater, industrials, little commercials, whatever. Um, that's pretty much it, you know. And if you, and I mean, if you have a real knack for it, you don't really have to have any of those things. You just have to do well in the audition. but. You know, an experience and a big resume, not a big resume, but just something other than, you know, name and I was on the tennis team or something. <laughs> Helps. Yes? You forgot what you were saying? Yeah, I forget stuff all the time. Um, yes? Right. I didn't have to go in that much. I actually told Caitlin that um, if she would just record me saying, hmm, like 13 different times, that would be it. <laughs> I mean, I do have lines every once in a while, but he does not say very much. He's your favorite character. 
Thank you. Um, well, I mean, I'm an actor in general, you know? I do movies, TV, commercials, video games, voiceover, all that stuff. Theater, if I had my choice, I would just do theater. Um, if it, if it paid like everything else pays, I would probably just do theater. But it doesn't, so I don't. Um, voiceover was kind of the thing I just happened into. I was going to school at TCU in Fort Worth, Texas, like 20 minutes from the studio. Laura Bailey was in the same agency as me in Dallas, and I saw her name at the end of Dragon Ball Z, called her up, freaking out. What are you doing on the show? Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And she, uh, after two years of me bugging her, let me come in an audition. And, uh, you know, that's kind of how it happened. And it, it's just a really good gig. It's really fun. And, you know, just keep following her. I love it. Yes? The pudding story. Oh, raise your hand if you've heard the pudding story. See, a lot of people have heard it. We'll do, the, we'll do the abridged version, because, all right, raise your hand if you like Jell-O pudding snacks. If you would like to keep liking Jell-O pudding snacks, you might not want to hear this. So I'm watching, I'm watching a movie one night, we're in the living room, we got all the lights off, and I get up to get a beverage and a snack, right? You know, middle of the movie, but the lights are off, so it's dark, and as I open the fridge, you know, I'm not really looking at things. I just kind of grab it and the light from the fridge is kind of making everything bright so I shut it, right? I got my jello pudding snack, my spoon, and from the light that's coming off the TV, I peel the top off and it looks a, a little different. Oh. Whatever, you know, I'm hungry, so I take the spoon, <laughs> stick it in my mouth, and it tastes a bit rougher <laughs> than normal. And I'm like, <laughs> Flip on the kitchen lights, spit it out, and the top of the jello pudding sack was solid green. <laughs> it looked like there was a lawn growing out of this chocolate pudding sack. I was like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and my friend gets up, he's like, what? 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 I'm like, ah, it was in my mouth. It was in my mouth. He's like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's just, it's just fungus, you know, and, you know, it's probably good for it. I'm like, ah! It's like, you know, it's like penicillin. Like, it's not penicillin, it's so gross. So for the rest of the day, we like, we put, took the jello pudding snacks out on the counter and we were like, looking at it like, you open it. No, I did the first one, you, you open it. He's got like a paper towel, he's like, they were all fine. They're all fine, because you know they're like sealed for your protection. <laughs> sealed for your protection. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I had a lot on mine. <laughs> so, yeah, that was gross. It was kind of crunchy. Yeah. I know, I bit into it and all these like worms. <laughs> all these spiders came out of my face. <laughs> yeah, none of that happened. Okay, this is in the back. Ma'am. Hot damn. Yes. <laughs> no, I think actually it's on like one of the MySpace pictures on either like Sabbath side or mine. I I think it's like a like a spicy type of like cinnamon leaf drink or something, but I just had to buy a bottle that said hot damn. <laughs> just because it's weird. He said what? A night to remember, or a night to forget. <laughs> Same thing sometimes. Yes, yes. <laughs> 